Today you'll be watching our Imitation Travel Challenge, where one of our Frequent Miler team members will have to create imitation travel footage using only objects in their own home. If you think this contestant should win the challenge, don't forget to like and subscribe at the end of the video. Okay, so before I get into today's challenge, I wanted to give you just a little bit of background about me. Growing up, I was really good at school. Now, I don't tell you that to relive my glory days, but rather to give you a little context for today's challenge. And I chose my words carefully. You see, I said I was really good at school, not that I was a really good student. I remember my senior year when we were voting class superlatives and my name was on the list for most studious. A friend of mine looked at me and said, I can't vote for you for most studious, Reyes. I know you don't study. Academics came really naturally to me. I was super lucky for that, but you know what didn't come naturally to me? anything that required like a modicum of artistic talent. I still clearly remember the first and I think only thing that I ever failed in school. It was a sewing project in eighth grade home ec. We had to make an apron. Do you have an apron handy? Have you ever used an apron? Can you just imagine what an apron looks like for a second? How many seams do you count? How do you fail an apron? I have no idea. And listen, the teacher knew me and knew that I was a good student, and you could tell that she felt bad about giving me a failing grade, but not as bad as she would have felt about herself for passing my pathetic excuse for a smock. All that is to say that when we came up with this idea for this challenge, I loved it, but I knew I couldn't rest on my laurels. I enlisted some help from my family and channeled my eighth grade apron, and uh, well, this is the result. Big Island or Big Fail. So a few years back, went to Hawaii with my wife's family, had a great time, saw a lot of things, ate a lot of great food. And I can't talk about great food without talking about the old Lahaina Luau. So we went to the Luau. It was terrific. I was going back through old pictures and I saw this shot and I said, you know what? I can recreate that because I have a patio. And my patio kind of looks like the old Lahaina Luau. And I thought back to this Canon Rebel 2000 camera that I had, like, around the year 2000. And it had this capability to do what's called a multiple exposure picture, image, whatever, where you can expose the same uh, frame of film over and over in order to, uh, well, what I was hoping to do here was to put myself into the frame a bunch of times. And unfortunately, my newer fancy digital camera doesn't have that capability. So instead, I had to get creative with PowerPoint and use some of Greg's techniques for removing the background to put the picture together so that my wife and I could make up the whole crowd at the luau. And I'm not going to lie, I imagined this going a little bit better than it did. All right, so that out of the way. I thought, okay, well, we need to do something a little bit differently. And one of the other things we did on this trip was we went and saw the lava flowing into the ocean. And I thought, hey, I can recreate that. I took third grade science class. I know how to make a volcano. And so we mixed it up, got things ready, and got the lava flowing, and boom, we got our steam pack, which we cheated a little bit on the steam, right? It wasn't actually lava. It was hot coals from my big green egg that we dumped into a bucket that you can't really see in the frame that's in the river. And yeah, that's a river in front of my house. So uh, so anyway, that was uh, my attempt at, at lava flowing into the ocean. Of course, the first attempt exploded in my wife's hand, but we won't talk about that story right now because the last thing that I tried to recreate was the Kilauea crater at night. And so I thought, hey, I could recreate that. And sure enough, I kind of did by lighting a fire in my big green egg and setting up my camera pretty far away from it up on a porch. <laughs> so there we go. There was my trip to Hawaii imitated here at home. Now, like this video and subscribe.